I had a debate on the BBC recently with a, a Canon Slee, uh, one of the deputies of the Archbishop of Canterbury, and in which I said that one of the things I, I disliked about Christianity when I was quite small was having to think of myself as a member of a flock, in other words, as a sheep or lamb, and also to having to reflect that shepherds don't look after sheep just because they like them, but in order that they can first fleece them and then kill them. And Slee, to his credit, he took me up on it rather decently. He said, you know, it was a problem for us with, with the church in New Guinea where I served for a considerable time, because as with a huge number of areas of the world, there are no sheep in New Guinea. Exodus is limited in that way too. Even the animals he describes aren't available everywhere. So he said, we had to work out what the locals in New Guinea valued as the Israelites would have valued sheep. He said, it got to the point where one Easter, I saw my bishop get up into the pulpit and address his congregation and say in English to them, oh Lord, behold, these your swine. So you see where how off the track you can get, off the beaten track you can get with agricultural uh, metaphors and how confining they can be. And of course it would have to be a pig, the very one that Yahweh most eloquently condemns elsewhere. As I say, if this is God-made, it looks somewhat man-made all the same.